beautiful people welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Tatiana I'm a fashion photographer and stylist in today's video we will be talking about models comp card or composite card and why you need it for modeling composite card is a marketing tool for fashion models and actors and it showcases your best works best works from models portfolio and is basically a business card for fashion models. You can give the composite card to the client during the castings or any other work. Also, there are always composite cards in modeling agencies and they usually give them to the potential clients as well if they come to their office. Cards can be of different format and size. They can have one or two pages like the front and back page. And usually on the front page you will see the model's close-up shot so the client could see her face, her facial features properly. And on the other pages you will find the best works from model's portfolio. Usually model agencies try to include full-length body shot as well, so the client could imagine how the model's body looks. Also comp cards include information about the model, the measurements, the height, the shoe size, eye color and the hair color. It's the basic information that clients should keep in mind. And it's called the stats. Comp cards in Asian and European modeling markets are different. You need to keep that in mind, especially if you work freelance and create the modeling comp card, the model's comp card by yourself. It is really important because if you know what the clients are looking for in certain area, if your composite card looks great, you will get more jobs, you will get booked more often and this is your income, your money and your success. So if you don't know anything about modeling markets, I suggest you to watch my other video where I explain everything about it in details. So getting back to the comp cards, let's see some examples. So here you can see some composite card examples, some of them were given to me at the agency's offices. Some of them are my friends' comp cards. And yes, I have some from Asia, from Europe, and I'm going to show them to you and explain why they look like this and just to give you an idea. And I would like to start with this comp card of my friend Nastya. By the way, I've shown you guys her modeling portfolio. We did a huge review, you can check it out. It's really helpful for aspiring models especially. And yes, you can see that this comp card is of different format. It has three pages. And the main picture is here, it's a close-up. But it's not really typical because Nastya is wearing makeup. This comp card is oriented for Chinese market and that's why she has makeup on her face and in general the photos are really colorful and yeah but still there are many high fashion shots from the magazine editorials you can see the full length shot and there are actually quite a lot of them total five full length shots and yeah, just a strong pictures from Nastya's portfolio. Here we can see the stats, the high measurements, eye color, hair color. And by the way, Nastya's height is actually higher, but for the Chinese market, her agency had decided to 
to write 178 instead of 180 or 181. I don't really remember her height, but anyways. And on the back it's uh, plain white. I think they've done this the format of this comp card this way because they wanted the clients to see all of the photos. So yeah, the client could immediately create an impression of the model. These comb cards are from China and are oriented for Chinese and Asian market. And as you can see, some of them look quite classic and some others are more commercial. I'm going to explain you why. And we'll start with the first one. Here you can see the picture of Ruinan. I worked with her and she's really, really amazing. You can check out my model test shoots with her. Her posing is really, really amazing, guys. You can learn a lot when you take a look at those videos, so please do. <laughs> and talking about Ruinan, she's working in both Asian and European market. When she's in China, she often works with her mother agency, which is Essie. And as you can see, we have here the black and white photo. It's quite classic. And it also could be used as a comp card cover for European market as well. She has some makeup on, but still it looks very natural. And Renan is actually working for high fashion. She does the runway shows and everything. Let's take a look at the back and on the back you can see more commercial photos. And these photos are super good for Chinese and Asian markets. You can see the full length shot, some really commercial shots, the photo with her smiling, the stats. You can see her height is 178. It's a really good height for modeling. And to show you the difference, between comp cards. It's the same agency, but this model looks really, really commercial and that's why she has this also commercial photo on the cover. And on the back, again, very colorful pictures and we can see some editorial shots, the full-length body shot and just uh, various strong photos from her portfolio and the stats. So I'm going to just quickly show you some other examples. This is again a photo, a comp card of my friend and she worked with this comp card in Asia. Her headshot looks very classic and is good for European markets as well. But on the back again we see typical Asian pictures full-end picture, some editorial shots, close-ups and yeah, just a strong photos from her portfolio. Next one, again model from China and she looks just amazing. <laughs> On the back full-end photo and strong pictures, the editorial ones I suppose, but this can be also the lookbooks. I don't know for sure to tell the truth and again she's really tall her height is 180 and yeah she looks really unique and I would say she has an alien face type something in between of alien and commercial look in my opinion you can take a look at my other video where I'm explaining types of models looks and what agencies are looking for if you haven't seen it, it will be interesting for you as well. And by the way, the size of these composite cards is about A5, I guess. Yeah, I think it's A5. Again, classic headshot and beautiful classic looking model. On the back we have full end shot and some close up and three-quarter view. Next one, commercial looking girl. This isn't a headshot, but still we can see her face clearly and in general we 
can have an impression of commercial looking beautiful model. What we have on the second page is again full length shot, close up, one more close up picture, not really a close up but still and these are magazine editorials. Commercial looking girl and in European market you rarely will see the cover of a composite card like this because you know here's a lot of things going on and if you will be doing a comp card for yourself I don't recommend you to choose something like this because this is too much going on but for the Asian market sometimes it can be good because you can see the accessories, the makeup and just everything, the hairstyle is interesting and instead of looking at the model you notice all of these details you intuitively start to checking out the pattern of her clothes, the necklaces, what kind of makeup she has and even if it's black and white still you don't see the model clearly but I can understand why the agency have chosen this picture because in Chinese market it can work yes it can work as well but I don't know I wouldn't have chosen this anyways I would I would have chosen something more neutral what we can see on the back yeah this is a full length shot from the same shoot let me show it to you a little bit closer I can recognize the makeup and some other details I suppose this is a test shoot and these are also maybe test shoots maybe she's a new face I'm not sure because these pictures aren't that strong but yeah, if she doesn't have a lot of photos in her portfolio, I can understand completely why this photo was chosen. She looks gorgeous in this shot. And the last one from China. I have worked with this girl as well and she is amazing. You can see the backstage from my test shoots with her as well. I will leave all of the links in the description box and honestly again I wouldn't have chosen this picture as a comp card cover I mean this is a great photo but if she has some more neutral pictures I would have chosen them but still looking at this picture we can have an impression of high fashion runway model because she's looking really good in this photo and let's take a look at the back honestly I don't like these pictures at all this one is okay the full length picture and I don't like this one at all actually and she's so much better she looks so much better well after I have worked with her the agency has changed the photos of her in her portfolio and they've chosen some of mine but still she is gorgeous I wish they would have chosen another pictures for her comp card but you can get the idea that you always see the full length shot and the three quarter angle and most of the times the close up and to show you the difference between Asian comp cards and European comp cards I will quickly show you some European ones these are comp cards from Elite model management Milan and I worked with Sanna she's really really gorgeous as you can see all of these comp cards are black and white European agencies and also American agencies love black and white pictures because they are classic and they make look everything really stylish and I'm not going to I'm not going to talk too long I'm just going to give you an idea of how model comp cards can look if you work in European market so here we have a close-up shot and the stats on the back we have a 
shot from the test shoot obviously it's not full length photo but anyway she looks beautiful and we have the agency's contact information here as well again black and white shot and this time on the back we have a full length photo and these are new faces so sometimes their photos aren't the strongest but still the cover photo should be really really strong again headshot and here we have a three-quarter shot but really strong and I love it I worked with Eleonora and she's gorgeous she she's more commercial looking and the cover shot is also more commercial looking and here we have the full length photo close up and I can see the shot from the same shoot which isn't good so this is actually a bad example but you can see what you shouldn't do if you don't have any other photos if you had only one shoot for example just try to avoid very similar pictures and the pictures that were shot from the similar angles I've talked about it in the video about modeling portfolios so be really careful with that commercial looking close-up shot and there's quite a lot of makeup going on but these are smoky eyes so they're more like classic Peter Lindbergh vibes <laughs> I would say and on the back we can see the full length and some other pictures from various shoots this one is really strong and I can I can see I can't understand if he, if she has changed her hair color because here we have very light hair and here as well and here it seems like it's really dark but I don't know personally I'm not so happy with this choice as well because me as a client I just can't understand what's her current hair color um, let's take a look here Capelli Castano hair light brown yes okay <laughs> and these are comb cards from the other agency they are colorful and this agency is more commercial oriented I worked with Lucy she is really really amazing and cute and we have the full length picture of her and the three quarter and her stats one more comp card and here we have a close up headshot by the way she has some makeup on but it's really neutral and it's much better than having something bright and something that is that makes you focus on the makeup here she has some makeup on but it's neutral and it's good and she's commercial looking so it's okay for her on the back the full length photo and this shot from the test shoots. If you would like to see more examples of models comp cards, just visit some of the agencies websites. I recommend you to take a look at the top agencies and you will see many composite cards examples there. As a working fashion model you need to always keep your printed model comp cards in your bag. You never know what may happen, you may suddenly need them and you need to always be prepared. And please comment, like and subscribe and I will see you in my next videos. Bye!